this to our liking. So we go to the admin settings, which we include in all of our apps, and let's choose an image. I'm just gonna browse for something I have locally that I just want to represent my database app. I'm gonna use the Yeldell Scientific icon, that's fine. And I just call this, you know, Yeldell Database. But you can call it whatever you want. It could be, you know, pharmaceutical, client, database, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. You can create anything you want with it. So let's click Save. And now those settings are updated. So now when we get back to the main menu, we see that our branding is applied. We now have access to the Yeldell database. So to create another instance of a database um, within this app, let's create new database. I'm gonna tap that. And now let's give the database a name. Let's call it uh, employee names, right? So this is how you can create a database very quickly. Let's tag it under personnel for searchable metrics. And let's choose an image to represent this database. I think I have a profile image saved. Let's go to my pictures. Um, let me just type in profile. But you can use anything that you would want. That should be fine. And that's the image that I want to represent my database. Let's say that I want uh, three columns in my database. And we'll see how that works. I'll click save. And now for my column one of my database, this is what kind of data do you want to actually um, keep within your database? I'll just say, you know, employee name. That's my first take column, save that. And then the next one is their phone number. And then lastly, I wanna know who their uh, supervisor is or whatever. No, let's change it, let's say location. But you can choose anything you want. So I have three columns, boom, and we're done. So now we have created a database within the system. We can update that database at any time by tapping on view edit database. And now we can see all existing databases that we have within the Yeldell database. So I'll just double tap on employee names and boom, we're inside that database and we can see that it currently is empty. So let's add a new record. Now also notice how the icon is automatically assigned to this database. It gives it a nice little charm and a nice little feel when you're actually creating these databases and they're all personalized according to the icon that you choose. So let's say I wanna add a new record. I'm gonna tap that and then we can see all the fields are automatically pulled in that we wanna capture data on. So employee name, let's say John Doe, their phone number, let's just do all fives, and their location, let's say they sit in building 14. And we can save that information and boom, we have an entry in the database. We want, let's enter Jane Doe, and her phone number is all threes, and say that she sits in, in building 16, and we can save that. Boom, we now have two entries, two records within our database. If we back out to the main menu, at any time we can perform searches on any entry in any database. So let's just create a search. Let's say we wanna search for the word dough. We know that there's two in there, so it should find it. Boom, it finds it instantly. So I'm already you know, navigating my way through a database. I don't know anything about databases. I hate working in access, but this is very easy to use. I created a database in less than a couple minutes. I'm able to search against it, I'm able to store data, edit data. Let's go back out. Let's say we wanna create an additional database. We can do that, and let's just call this uh, candy, right? And let's tag this as food. Let's choose an image to represent it. Let's go back out. I think I have an image, let's choose that Kit Kat, that's fine. Number of columns, let's say two. And this is how another thing you can name. Column two is, you know, inventory total. We'll save that. So now we have another database within the system. If we want to edit that database at any time, we just click on view edit database. We can go to the database that we recently created called Candy. I'll just double tap on that. It's currently empty. So let's add a new record for it. We see that our icon is loaded so we know we're in the correct database. Let's add a new record. It will automatically pull in the two fields that we said we want to collect data on. So let's say that this one is the item name. Let's call it, you know, Snickers. And let's say that we currently have 1,000, 1,900 in stock. We can save that. Boom. And instantly we have a database where we can keep track of inventory. It's just that simple. If we want to add another record, let's call this one Skittles. And let's say that we have 500 units in stock and we're done. It's just so simple that it's not even funny that you can create these databases in minutes and not even know anything about databases. So let's go back out. Let's do a search. Let's just search for Snickers. Boom, we see that we have 1900 in stock. So it's very simple to use. Your employees will love it. 
We're continually updating this app, making it more user friendly, but I'm just kind of curious on um, seeing how others will use this app. Currently it's in use in a couple of different facilities. Three big corporations are currently using it and they're using it in some very uh, fun ways. So I'm curious to see how other people are gonna end up using this app. But it works beautifully on the Microsoft Surface Pro, but it will work on any Windows laptop, any Windows PC. You can throw it on Dropbox if you wanna make it communal and have everyone feeding entries together. There's a bunch of cool things you can do with it. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video.